one thought that can bring you peace in any situation is the idea that everything is a lesson God would have you learn. And I just want to say this, when it says that, it is not saying everything is happening to you or being caused by some God or some angel because so it can teach you a lesson. Everything happens to us at some deep level by our own request. The Course says you are a child of God in whom God is well pleased. And that as such, you are an extension of what God is. That's how God created us, by extending his essence himself to become us. And as such, we are everything that God is. We are, you know, a drop from the ocean. The drop is everything that the ocean is, right? There's nothing more it can have and nothing less. And the same is true for us. So God is simple. God is truth, love, knowledge, and God is cause. He's not at the effect of anyone or anything outside of him or her, because there is nothing outside of him or her, right? So, and so as such, that's our ultimate truth, that we are cause. And I'm saying this again, because this is the second time I've been sick. Now, would I consciously choose to be sick two times in four weeks? No. But on some level, the Course is saying, I call this into my world. And, and the some of the most powerful ways we cause are unconscious. And the Course's work is trying to make us conscious thinkers. So that our thinking isn't hidden, isn't secret, isn't unconscious, and it's chosen. It's not just running automatic we made a decision 20 years ago about ourselves or the world and that that belief is now running like software in the background or like malware i should say and it's causing it's causing how we interpret the world it's causing actions we choose to take so the idea is that we have to clean up what causes and what causes is our mind the ultimate cause is mine god is mine god is not a body and it also says ultimately your body is not what you are either your body is an experience you're having, but it's not the truth of you. It's an experience. It's a limitation device, so you can experience what it's like to be an unlimited being, now limited. But you can never really be limited. So the idea is to help wake us up to that truth, that we are all part of one thing, we're all united, and we're all unlimited. We are everywhere, always, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, just like our source. Though it is possible to limit that awareness that consciousness to one point in space and time called a body and then forget that that's the truth the truth is still operating and that's why it's possible to cause without being conscious of what we're causing so the world you see is what you gave it nothing more than that but though it is no more than that it is no less therefore to you it is important it is the witness to your state of mind the outside picture of an inward condition. As a man thinketh, so does he perceive. Therefore, see not, seek not to change the world, but choose to change your mind about the world. Attention is the creative force. Where you put your attention, that's what you see. So if your attention is on this erroneous thought in your mind, you project it over there, you're just going to see more and more of it. And the same happens with your partners, your children, your parents. They will be what you are asking them to be by your own attention on it. You won't see anything else. Perception is a result and not a cause. We think, most people believe, that what we perceive causes our feelings, our emotional state, our upset, our hurt feelings, our anger, our fear. But the Course is saying now, it's the opposite of that. You already had all that in you. You projected it, and your perception is the result of that what you perceive is the result of what you projected and that was already there the upset the fear the anger the judgment the interpretation was already there and you put it out there it's like you're painting the picture and then seeing it back and believing that that's causing your emotional state when in truth you already had that emotional state and this is just justifying it perception is a result and not a cause and that is why order of difficulty in miracles is meaningless everything looked upon with vision is healed and holy Nothing perceived without it means anything. And where there is no meaning, there is chaos. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. 
please, it helps us so much if you just like, subscribe, and share the video. And also, if you have any comments or any questions, please drop a comment below. I'm happy to respond. Until next time, please keep your mind open and keep making miracles.